looking for a way to download or let me say use the auto responder and you've tried different means and it hasn't worked or it's not working auto responder is an app that helps business to reply customers even while they are sleeping and the customer will be feeling attended to so this is a means to get it done all right let's get started so you go to your browser you know I use Chrome especially, so all I will do is to search. So I'll search for my network is kind of slow. Please pardon me. Okay, it's loaded already. Now I'm going to type auto responder. I say auto responder for WhatsApp. You can see we have varieties of auto responder like there are many different type of auto. the more you continue to scroll down you will see auto responder so that's finished loading so varieties of auto responder okay so the one i would advise you should always click on is this particular one let me use my brush this particular one yeah it's the best you should always look out for so we've seen it and i'll click on install let me remove my brush okay so now i'm going to click on install so it will take me to my browser either my apple store or your iphone store to get it downloaded so the only difference is just that instead of coming to your play store to download directly you are going through your browser to go get it directly to your phone so watch to the end so you can see how i use it and set it for my business also all right guys if this is where you're interested don't forget to always subscribe to the channel like comment share and, don't, and kindly always um drop a comment for more content like this it encouraged me to do more it encouraged me to always give back like when I was starting, I didn't find all this as a simple way to develop myself. So I thought of doing it for others. So try to encourage me by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel and asking questions. And also give me a shout out or review. And those of you that are interested in asking a question, I do put your channel on my videos whenever I'm replying to those videos. Okay. So you click on open so this is how it's going to open then it tell you get started so you can pay for it for one month for yearly but if you don't want to you can just close it or you start seven days trial so for the tutorial let's close it and Voila, this is how the auto responder auto responder app is so we have the answer reply test your rules reply history text settings for we have more of facebook like they have varieties but the one we choose is this one for whatsapp so you come to this other side. we have search import export that says doesn't work like any complaint you want to make you can get them done in that area then you have to make it on always turn it on if you know you want it to work for your phone so it will bring you down to this area that it tell you to allow like you just have to set all notifications and make sure it is you can say on this my device it will not allowed so i'm going to click on autoresponder then i'm going to allow so it tell me allow notification access for auto responder the right allow yeah so now 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 we are ready <laughs> so guys that or oh, you can see now is now part of the apps that is being allowed on my phone yeah so i'm going to go back so now i'm going to click this plus sign to start creating the rules and all the things i need so i'm going to you can see this example they brought out from this they said receive message or exact match similarity match but because i'm not using the pro version so there are some things i can't use so i will be clicking use for free so free replies 
free reply send free replies with premium features and all of that we we don't want to do it now but we'll do it later by paying it's actually cheap to pay for your business as if your business is already making money but if you know your business is not making money don't like still use it for free it will give you the best of what you want so click don't show again okay so it might bring you here all you have to do is just um watch ad then collect for free replies and stuff like that but the best thing is just cancel and just use a free one when you have the money you pay for the um pro sample okay now let's dive into the message format all right sorry for the break in transmission so now the auto responder app is already on my phone so i'll click on it so now let's begin everything proper now i'll click on the plus sign after clicking on the plus sign so we have the receive message so that's where we'll be typing our messages and now let's get started this use for free and unlock everything is an ad so don't get don't make it confuse you confuse and everything that way. so i will be showing you how i did it for my pro version so use this exact method to do yours all these messages that you're seeing all this text and everything is what you also will be seeing in the tutorial so let's dive into that proper same as the pro version now when you have the pro version also or the free version this is how you go about it you click on get started after which it will show you this advertisement and all of that so you close them you close everything then you click on the plus button as you can see that same plus button at the side at that edge corner that's the area the plus button is always on so you click on it then to show you this area where i will be typing all the messages just as you saw earlier but if you watch i have not on my autoresponder in this case i first of all decide to fill in my details before i now put in like turning it on actually but because of the tutorial i had to show you how to download it from another side that's why you saw me turn it on to text to test how it is so now as i said this is like a pro version of it so if you watch earlier we won't be seeing pattern match expert and all of that welcome message but still not you'll be seeing this exact match and similarity which is the basic of all so which is what we are also going to be using in this tutorial so for the receive message i'm going to type i counsel a fatai like i want anybody that comes into my link through my link should be able to tell me their name so i will place it in this format so it will be easier for them to come in to my dm and ask something so hi counselor before i am from facebook like the direction of where they got like my whatsapp link on our next tutorial we'll be talking about link tree so my whatsapp link my other links are on instagram on my social so i want them to be able to tell me exactly where they are from so when i'm saving their contacts it will be easier for me to know the exact place they came from do you understand so this is the message i'm going to write i would love to um i would love to take your i'm a video editing teacher so i'm a coach also a business coach for startup like encouraging startup to start their business so i'm going to use this particular message you can create different autoresponder for your different um businesses so let me just do this one for my video editing now i'm going to put that one i would like to take your course on video editing so my name is dash 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 so i want them to tell me their name so when they see it also it will be easier for them to put in their name yeah so that's the essence of doing this so i'm going to scroll down <clears throat> Now I'm going to scroll down to write the reply message. That is, once the person has typed in their name and sent, the autoresponder should be able to help me reply them. That's the function anyway. So I'm going to type, oh, I, you're welcome. You put your colon, then you are welcome. Full stop, then kindly save my contact as Kosara Bifatai and reply with done. Yeah, so that it will create an engage. As I said, the customer would always feel replied uh, attended to. So with saved. So I'll make that save as hashtag. 
So, like, if you put hashtag, it will be in a bold format. That's the essence of putting that hashtag beside the um, written text. So, it will be able to write the text in a bold format when you are done. Okay, so, and I also want them to, when you are done and I... I'd send the okay. Let's say you are doing maybe you want to do a giveaway or something like that, or maybe you are a course person, or you are someone that teaches or trains someone. So, or you want them to join your WhatsApp class for something, so just give them an instruction of something to do. Like, okay, save my contact when you're done. I'll send you the video links, I'll share you the details, I'll share you the information just for them to put um follow up on what you are doing so you can now put the timing of when you want it don't make it more than two minutes like it should be more than that so that immediately they type in a message after two minutes you reply the auto responder replied so put that time duration in between okay so we have conditions also you can seek any of the one you feel like well I'd leave that one and go to the other ones and read through. I think I'm done with this. So I'm going to save this. I'll click the green line also to save that all. So this particular one is saved. Now, if I want to make the autoresponder reply, like you should go beyond just saying, like if the person reply save now i want the auto responder to be able to tell them that okay well, this is the video link now i will also go back like i will go back to that same method i would i will use in typing that so i will now click on the plus button immediately after that first one you still see the plus button there it's always there so you click on the first button then okay so now for the receive message of the second part i'm going to put that asterisk save so that when autoresponder sees the person message having this save autoresponder will know that okay this is the reply he should give that person so i'll now come to my reply message and type in or copy in my video link yeah i'm going to copy in my video link or maybe the class link or maybe the um details you no know, i said if the person click on save and comment if the person save my contact and comment save i will send them the video link to my um, class or something like that so now to make it a little bit interesting i will now write my reply message as congratulations here is the link to the a video let's use editing tutorial no let's use this is new to the video i promise that's if it is a video you promise so if it is a tutorial or class if you get the vibe just reply and make it work that way so and copy the link because don't lie do it accordingly exactly how you want it to be do it that way so Here's the link to the video, I promise, or I think that one is too simple. Let's make it a little bit more enhanced, like, congratulations, kindly make payments, and that's if it is, like, the first one was, here's the link. Now, if you know it's something you want them to make payment on, kindly of make payment and send the screenshots. Like, you just put a reply, but make it rhyme with what you started with from the beginning. And screenshots. So, this is a detail tutorial. So, stay to the end so you don't miss out on anything. A screenshot so the class can... Kindly make a payment and send a screenshot so class can begin with your payments that should be it with i've already pre-recorded this so i'm just doing a voiceover over it hence why it's so i can explain better that's it so i can give you in detail class can begin with you okay please watch and ask 
questions when where necessary as if i've sent the link when necessary necessary that's css yeah necessary so i think that's it for this now you can also put like multiple replies if you want to but in case you don't want to do that then you can leave it as a single reply but because now i've already done the first one as a single reply but i want it to continue you can say i click on all okay so i click on all and i've put it at that same two minutes so all is to make it continue from the first one so immediately the first one it continue you click on all but if it is just one message for a particular group chat you can just leave it as one but because i wanted it to follow up so i sent it that way now you also click for the receiver for both to so that those both messages will be sent to the receiver then there are other things you can do also but i think that's the basic this is the basic for anybody that you should be able to do so i'll click on my mark this tick button to save so now you can see the first message is having receive send the second one is having receive send can you see so i'll now go back to my first message i'll read through yeah so if you check the first message you can see now that it has the first message i sent and the multiple reply is still on that one that's because i want the first message to be that simple so that's all for this but if you know you have message error like the second one you type the second reply you wrote is not rhyming with the first one you can go back to correct everything before you now finally save everything so if you have gone through everything and you've seen that okay everything is corrected everything is okay you click on that mark at that side and voila you can now test to see how it will work so because i told you earlier that it's i offed it so now i'm going to turn it on then i'll give permission to it from my phone just like the way we did it earlier so once that is done the permission is turned on now you can now test it you allow so now test it to see before you now start posting to before it now start replying your client and your client is like oh those this, this is nonsense first of all test it and see so this is it today that is me the auto responder is acting as if i'm a customer and we are both chatting so hello i'm your auto you can test by sending message so the message i sent as the first headline so that's the message i will be inputting so I'll correct and put maybe my name is Toby. Can you see? So now the autoresponder will checkmate for two minutes, as I said. After two minutes, is now going to respond to the message. Okay, guys. So it's past two minutes, and I noticed it did not reply. That's why you have to test run. So now I went back to the first message I have already typed, which is the first rule i have typed it so now i will not change the reply message to all instead of one do you understand like the first message i will change it back from one to all then the second message will also be in all so now I'll test run again and see how it goes so instead of cleaning that dash i didn't clean it <laughs> just because i want to test run it so i you're welcome kindly send my contact as counsel after i reply with save when you are done so that's the auto responder sending that message after this is the second message do you understand so now when i now click on saved let's see you can see that i didn't put the asterisk of the save this time around i wanted to see if the auto responder would reply when i didn't put save so let's see after two minutes again okay sorry for the mistake before you create another one like you don't need to click on the plus sign again to create another you click on that your first rule then you fill in the details yeah you fill in all the details just like the way i've done earlier 
multiple replies you click on all so when you click on all it will bring out like if you want to let me do it like this. if you want to make the message come like in two, two different ways so after you click on i you're welcome you can copy that other conversation which is kindly say my contact and stuff like that to be on the second line like the second reply you say should be sent so you click that side to put your second reply so the message will come like two two minutes afterwards so it doesn't look as if you bombard the person with many texts so now the issue i was having that that could not make me continue was because i didn't on this first rule after i have done the first arrangement like this i'll click on the button tick and click save now i've saved this one right then i will now say click on that same message i've saved then i'll scroll down we have this sub menu can you see it's this area that we have sub menu you click on that plus button beside the sub menu that's where you now put your second message like i don't know if you understand that's where you now put your second message instead of creating a new rule you still use that same first rule then you click on the sub menu you click on the first rule you save the first messages after you save it you tap on it again then you scroll down and come down to the sub menu so when you come down to the sub menu then you will now be able to put in the save icon and you now also be able to reply your message like the message the auto responder will see which is the save then the reply to that save you put it down also which is congratulations here is the link to the class here is the clinical to the this but this is to help you better instead of creating a new rule that second rule i did earlier was was if i am creating a new rule for a new response or something but if i know is that same particular um rule of activities i want to use and i want to make a continuous chat with it i'm going to click on sub menu after i've clicked on saved i'll tap on that same um row one then i'll go scroll down to it and click on sub menu i cannot see and do sub menu immediately i'm creating all the rule at once no you have to first of all save one then come back to that same item and click on the sub menu then fill the details so this is me filling my details but i had to just do some explanation and i hope it's clear please comment below if you find this detailed tutorial interesting don't forget to give me a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you all right so i'm going to fill all the details like kindly make payment of one five and send questions of payments in order for the class to begin with you or to begin the training with you so when i'm done like this to comment my multiple replies so full stop now my multiple replies i'm going to leave it as the same hall just like the way i did that time and i'm going to put my delay in two minutes to be two two minutes then that's all for this so I'll click on that tick mark sign and click OK. So you can see my sub menu is now there under my row one conversation. So the setting I made for row one will still be there. Now let's test run everything together. So you click on that high button, that's where to test run. So I'm going to copy, thank God I copied it to my clipboard. I'm going to copy the first message the customer will be sending in. So when the customer click on my wall link, if you don't know how to create a wall link, check the next video under this playlist to check out to create a wall link. Wall link is a WhatsApp link that brings a message like this in this format. Where you can put a message like this in this format. So I'll click on it and I've pasted it. So you can see because I break it the other time when I was doing the correction of the um first row one, I break it. Can you see it came out twice? Now if the person type saved then this other message will come congratulations so if you know you want to create more messages to reply the customers maybe you have known everything the customer will be asking all you have to do is just continue um using the sub menu sub menu sub menu 
thank you guys for watching till this point yeah <laughs> thank you so much so i'm going to delete this second part because i actually do not need it but if i want to create another rule message then i can now create another one but for this first one this is how it goes and this is the correct version that's why you just have to watch the video to the end so you can get everything at once i hope this video is detailed enough thank you guys for watching yeah i know this is a premium version but you can also do it on the free version like this the same way i did the tutorial you can also do it on the free version okay Thank you for watching. I am Kafsara of the Fatai. I make videos to teach personal development and videos creation on YouTube. So if this is what you're interested in, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And for this training, thank you guys for joining. Now let's move to the next um topic of developing your brand. Okay, stay safe.